your situation will change for the better. There's nothing God cannot do. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Be encouraged by the promises of God. God urges you not to fear or be dismayed. He has got all it takes to change any situation. The Lord promises you help and strengthening. What other help can be as good as God's help? So why worry? Why do you want to end your life? Who told you you were alone in this situation? Who told you that you are not loved? Who told you that? That is how it is going to end for you. Who told you that your situation has gone too far? Who told you that it could not be redeemed? Listen to God's word, child of God. The Lord asks me to encourage you to cheer up. Don't use how it is now to consider or conclude that, that is how the future is going to be. No. Only have faith, believe and keep believing in God. He has promised, and He is going to turn that unpalatable situation around. The seemingly hopeless situation, the Lord assures us, is going to end in praise. Only have faith and be faithful in believing and following God, never be unwavering. Hear you what the Lord has got to tell you. In John chapter 14 verse 1. He says, Let not your heart be troubled, ye believe in God, believe also in Him. So all that you have got to do to see God change that situation is to believe and keep believing in God. Because they are those who believe that what has been promised will be fulfilled. So instead of feeling despair and hopelessness, why not just believe and see God accomplish His promises for you? In Isaiah 43 verse 19. He says, Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. Now, this is what the Lord is saying in that scripture. He is saying, Behold, that he is going to do a new thing. He is going to change that situation. He is going to change the narrative. He is going to alter the proverb. You will no longer be known by that derogatory names and narratives. He is going to wipe your tears, and the tears of sorrow are going to be turned into tears of joy. God is saying that, in the new things that He is doing, He is going to make even the seemingly impossible possible. That He is going to make a way even in the wilderness, and water in the desert. Those sound difficult and impossible, but not with God, for with God, all things are possible. So God is saying here that He was even going to suspend the natural laws to help you. Just as the wilderness does not have good roads, neither do deserts have easy access to water. But God is saying that He will do all those things. So God is simply saying that no matter how ugly, irredeemable, or irreversible the situation feels or seems to have gone, He is going to make it good again. Therefore, I am encouraging you in the Lord. Be encouraged, God is not yet done with you. He is still in charge and in control. And he is saying that no matter how ugly or bad the situation or condition seems, he is able, capable, and has the ability to make it good again. He is saying that he is and always will be the unchangeable changer. So stop feeling despairing and depressed, or don't you know that faithlessness is an offense in the sight of God? So, instead of worrying, begin to trust and believe in God to bring about your desired change. That is why the Bible says in James 4, verse 8, Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. What God is saying here is to draw near to God through prayers and holy living and to stop being doubtful and faithless. His words and promises are sure and unfailing. Just believe Him and see your desired change. Let us pray. Our everlasting Father, King of Glory. Dear Lord, I come unto you this hour in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the gift of life and for your continued protection, provision, and sustenance. Dear Father Lord, being that you said in your word in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, that we should be careful for nothing, but that we should make our request known to God in everything through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. 
Lord, here I come to you at this hour with the request for change in my health, finances, and other situations in my life to make them praiseworthy and in perfect shape. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, I pray and ask of you for a change in my marriage, emotions, position, spiritual standing, and every area of my life that needs your touch for efficiency, effectiveness, and improvement. In the name of Jesus Christ. For Lord, I know that whenever you change a thing, it is to make it better. Hence, the Bible says in Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Therefore, dear Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ for heartwarming changes and transformation in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask for the change and transformation that will bring me better health, more wealth, more prosperity, more honors, more promotion, more peace in my home, office, and places of work, and more love and understanding in my home and in my marriage. More wisdom in dealing with every situation that ever presents itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father, Lord, give me the change that will bring about perfection in every area of my life. Give me the change that will bring all round peace to my home, O Lord. Give me the change that will give me rest of mind and all round peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let there be a complete change and overhaul of everything that needs change and improvement in my life, home, and office. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, according to your word in John 14 27. You said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Lord, please bring about the change that will bring about and manifest this type of peace in every aspect of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Father Lord, give me a change of story in my business, career, work, and in every area of my life that is not bringing you honor and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, give me all round turnaround in my career, in my business, and in all that I do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Let me pray for you. Dear Father Lord, King of Glory, I pray for my listeners, those who want to make positive changes in their businesses, careers, relationships, health, families, and other areas of their lives. Lord, grant them all their desired changes. In the name of Jesus Christ, give them the change that will come with peace, love, and rest of mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, just as your word says in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, that the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Lord, give them the changes that will not come with sorrows, regrets, and troubles. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let their change come with peace of mind, peace at home, and peace at their places of work. In the name of Jesus Christ, Give them chains that will decorate them and make them rich without sorrows. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I pray for those whose homes and marriages are in crisis and on the verge of collapse. Father Lord, give them chains that will bring back peace, love, harmony, and conviviality in their homes and in their marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give them the change of level that will make those who have been despised and ignored begin to seek help, friendship, and acceptance from them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, give them the change that will make them so rich that their neighbors will begin to envy them, just as you blessed Isaac so much that he became the envy of his neighbors. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask for the same order of change for my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ, give them Lord, the change that will make them forget their ugly experiences of the past. In the name of Jesus Christ, Dear Father Lord, change everything else in their lives that lacks honor and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father Lord, for answering, for in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video reach more people. Also, 
our team would appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. If you have any prayer requests, drop them in the description box. Our prayer warriors will take your request to God. Are you new here? Subscribe and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.